Hey guys, how are you? It's pretty late on my side, almost 2 a.m. But I decided to make a video for you and show how you can use the new landing protocol called Puzzleland and explain the very basics. What is landing protocol, how to use it. So do everything so you can be sure to use it in a safe way and do not lose money. So let's start. Here you see it. You see the puzzle land, the new DeFi tool, which is one month old, but already has more than 1 million TVL. Let me explain what happens here. First of all, puzzle land has two different pools, main pool and waste DeFi pool. The difference is the composition of tokens in this pool. The smaller one called DeFi pool is for smaller tokens, such as WX token and uh, Tsunami token. Uh, if you are the new user, I recommend to use the main one because it's bigger and more stable. Initially, the idea is to have different pools and split the risks, actually. So here, on the main page, you can see the main data about the protocol. You can see which tokens are there and uh, what are the parameters for them. Also, if you scroll down, you can find the basic information, but you don't need it if you watch my videos. So let's watch on this spreadsheet because that's basically the most important thing. Here we have five different tokens, uh, Waves, USDN, USDT, Puzzle and Pluto. In this table we can see the amount of supplied assets and borrowed assets. What is supply? This is the amount of tokens that were deposited to this pool. For example, we see that more than 500k of USD of waste was deposited to this pool and a little bit less of other tokens. Also we see the APY for supply. If you deposit token you earn something, you earn it like basically every minute and percent is compounded. For example for depositing USDN you earn 7% APY which means you have 7% annual interest. At the same time, and other people can borrow your money, like in a bank, and they pay for it. So, for example, we see that 100k USDN was borrowed, and people pay almost 20% for it. And this percent is divided between all the de depositors. That's actually where the interest comes from. So, it's very natural money, actually. Some people pay to use your money and the suppliers can get this interest. Uh, to get more details, you can click on the asset. Uh, for example, you can click on Waves asset and see the chart of the price. Uh, you can see the detailed information, number of suppliers and borrowers, and three very important things. Collateral factor, liquidation threshold, and liquidation penalty. But you don't need it if you just want to supply your assets. Uh, let's see how it happens in action. So when you first uh, open this website, it looks like this. Your wallet is not connected and you have three different options. The simplest one is email option. Uh, if you're the new user, you can just create your account using email. Uh, as an advanced user, I use a Keeper wallet, which is pretty simple to use. It's browser extension. So you just authorize with this extension. Uh, yeah, and here goes my account. When I'm authorized, I see this window which shows the parameters of my account. Now I have zero supply balance and zero borrow balance. Okay, let's try to supply something. Uh, you can see your assets here. Uh, here is a wallet button. Uh, and I see that I have USDN on my wallet and waves. Let's supply using because it has more interest. So for this, I just put the supply button and in certain amount of using I'm uh, going to deposit. So I will deposit maximum 95 and I already see the information that approximately uh, my daily income will be one cent, uh, which will be equal to, uh, I think it's about, yeah, it's nine bucks in a year or something. Um, please pay attention that there is transaction fee which goes to the waste blockchain itself because your transaction is sent to the blockchain. You pay no fee for depositing to the protocol. It's free. Okay, let's now supply and here goes the transaction which goes directly to the blockchain. Approve. 
Okay, my money was uh, supplied. And yeah, I see it here. I see supply APY and daily income, everything. So very simple. I can withdraw anytime uh, just by putting the withdraw button and uh, withdrawing the, uh, my balance. And every block, actually every minute, uh, every 60 seconds in blockchain, the new cent is compounded to my money. So you just see the growing amount here. That's how you get your payment. Uh, okay, that's how you can deposit money, but at the same time, after you deposit something, you can take a loan, you could borrow another assets. There are many different reasons uh, why would you need it, but the main one is to optimize your earnings. So, for example, by supplying USDN, you're earning 7%, right? Um, but uh, you can borrow, for example, Pluto uh, using your collateral and stake it at Pluto.gold to earn another 40% because Pluto actually yields 40% in staking. In this video, I will not show how to do it like uh, for Pluto, but I will show how you can borrow. It's uh, very simple. You just put borrow button and uh, a certain amount of Pluto you want to uh, borrow. Uh, if you put max button, interface will calculate for, your, for you the safe amount of Pluto you can borrow. What does safe mean? You can take a look at account health value. Um, the bigger the account health, the safer is your position. Uh, for example, let's borrow five Pluto. Here are the same rules. You just push the borrow button, sign the transaction, and actually get your Pluto to your account. Okay, I'm borrowing. Uh, this position appeared in my wallet. And what we see, we see that account health uh, reduced a bit, but not significant. And also, um, I got Pluto to the my to my account. I have it on my wallet. I can go and do whatever I want with it. At the same time, we see the uh, how to say clean APY, net APY, after reducing the amount I pay uh, for my borrow amount. Uh, what is account health? Account health shows the proportion of your supply balance to borrow balance. Uh, if account health goes to zero, your account got liquidated because account health equal to zero usually means that you don't have enough supply balance to cover your borrow amount. So that's why if, for example, Pluto price will start growing, my account health will start falling. So I recommend to borrow not more than 50% of your account health. So you really should have at least 20% like all the time. It's safe enough. And always look at the price of a token you borrow. If, it's tight, if it starts growing, uh, you better uh, immediately uh, bring your money back and avoid liquidation. That's basically it. In this spreadsheet, you can see that uh, this is my supply APY, this is my borrow APY, this is how much I pay, this is how much I get. Uh, you can do everything in this one window and it's pretty simple to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, this video was, uh, the main goal was to bring the information, was the idea of lending protocol. Uh, you can find your own ways to operate with it, of course, you don't have to do all my steps you can supply your assets you can borrow whatever you want so thanks for watching and have fun in DeFi, especially in these hard times in these challenging times uh, stay safe thank you